Four months ago, I opened a new Etsy shop to prove that you can still build a successful shop with no ads. Today, I'm going to share with you all the analytics and the profit I made in December. December was great and awful at the same time, but how? Well, let's travel back in time. This is October 2022 and this was my first attempt at opening an Etsy shop. As you can see, I didn't get the best results. I only got a few visits and I didn't get any sales. Let's go to November. Again, the visits increased a bit, but no sales. And now, let's look at December. Out of nowhere, I got 5,000 visits and over 150 orders. December is the best month of the year. Everyone is buying presents for Christmas and New Year's Eve. So my unexpected growth at the end of 2022 wasn't so unexpected. From the moment I opened the shop in August, I was waiting for December to come so my shop could finally blow up. My growth from 2022 raised my expectations a lot for this December. At the end of November, I was expected minimum $1500 in profit. Did I manage to make that? Well, we will see. Let's get to the stats of December. If you're not familiar with my project, I sell digital products, mainly sports wall art, some printable birthday cards, and a few printable cake toppers. At the end of the month, I had 445 listings. At the end of November, I had 404 listings. As you can see, I didn't create a lot this month. I created only 41 listings, which is the lowest amount of listings I created in a month ever. And probably this number is going to get lower and lower over time, because this was my secret goal before even opening this shop. I didn't want this to be a main project for me. I created this shop so I could leave it to do the work work on its own. I want to focus my time on making videos for you and not so much on my shop, but I still reply to messages daily and check if the customers get their files. I'm focusing on spending as little time as possible in my shop. I work like 3 or 4 hours a week, so my shop probably won't skyrocket in sales in the next months, but you will have to wait to see until then. Back to the stats. My visits decreased for the first time. In November I got over 9000 visits. Well, in December I didn't even hit 8000 visits. I only got 7800. Honestly, I'm very disappointed by this number because my expectations were very high. In November I reached over 400 visits in some days, but I didn't even get to hit one day in December. In the first half of the month, I was averaging 300 visits a day, but the second half was even worse. I managed to get below 200 visits in some days. I mean, okay, most people buy presents at the beginning of the month. I was expecting more people to buy a few days before Christmas, but it's okay. It makes sense. My orders were static though. In November, I had over 400 orders, and now I have 3 or 4 less orders. The funny thing is that if I compare my stats with 2022, I had fewer orders in the last days of the month than my first shop. I wouldn't believe you if you told me that a month ago. Well, the the only good thing about this month is that my conversion rate increased. I had 4.6% in November and now it's 5.2%. Also now I have over 1400 sales in my store and I'm in the top 7% of Etsy sellers. If you watched my 3 previous videos of this series, you will know that I didn't raise my prices at all from the beginning of my shop. Did I finally raise them? Well, I did. But in a few of my listings, I increased the prices of my best sellers by a dollar and a few good performing listings by 50 cents. Okay, let's look at the revenue now. I got over 1600 euros or $1764. So now it's clear that I didn't make $1500 in profit. Let's see the daily revenue for December. It's time for the profit. How much did I really make in December? In December, I got over 1150 euros or $1260 in profit. This is how December is my worst and best month so far. It's the worst because I had high expectations and on top of that my visits and orders decreased. But at the same time, this month was the best because the profit increased. Not a lot, but I will take it. Also, I did try throwing a dollar in Etsy ads, but it was awful and I stopped. 
For some reason, I didn't have offside touch this month. Not so happy with my results, but I can't complain because I didn't put as much effort in the last two months as I did in my first two months. Was December a good month for you? You can tell me in the comments below. See you again in the January results.